Select the appropriate mask agents for this mission. Selection complete. Recommended personnel, Gloria Baker, champion race driver, black belt in kung fu, legal code name, Shark. Welcome back to Retro Wednesday at the Tigerium Hangar. This is Mike. Today I want to talk to you about the Kenner Mask split second series figures and vehicles that came from 1987 to 1988. Now, these do split into two parts, and I did start collecting these in 2012, and through about 2016, just got a few parts recently to finish this up more or less. I am missing one or two parts, but we're going to talk about each and every one of these, what makes them cool, their drawbacks, coming up. First off, I want to say that I did make other videos talking about Series 1, 2, 3, Boulder Hill. I also talked about the Laser Command, so all those videos, I'm going to try to get to all those linked down there for you below so you can check those out after you check this one out. So let's get right into looking at Split Seconds. First one we're going to take a look at is Afterburner. This is a dragster, it comes with Dusty Haze, and the clone or the computer-generated image that is of Dusty Haze with the Backlash mask. Is that Backlash mask? But you're going to see it's kind of like a carryover or a mix of the racing series. A lot of these kind of feel like they could have been in the racing series also. But it's kind of cool. Like maybe their creativity was on racing series. And then they said, let's split this up. That's probably what they did. Look at the figures with the mask. The masks themselves look really interesting. Like they got some sort of a Western motif and they've got some sort of a, a hat on there. So that's kind of cool. That's always my thought. They got the bandana, which I always call a scarf and my wife corrects me. And then when you pull this off, you do kind of see that uh, we have just the typical old Dusty Hayes from Gator. And he's got a different costume, different outfit. And it's just the way this whole series is. Just kind of rehashing these figures but it does look kind of cool it is pretty interesting the vehicle itself looks really interesting as a dragster and it's like one of those that zero to 60 and well, zero to 100 in like 0.2 seconds or something like that but it does look cool it's got some pink and some blue and some uh black designs there it's got i don't these aren't i don't know if these are stickers that kids had to apply or whatever but they were already on there they did have a story about this is that i was trying to complete one in 2012 or 13 or something and one comes along for 33 bucks complete no tax and no shipping and i jumped on that and so with that i just never had to buy any more of this because i got what i needed but it's really awesome that i got one complete back in the day even back in the day these were kind of hard to get so that was a nice little, little fun bit there so let's go ahead and put dusty haze into the cockpit and here it is well the driver's seat the cockpit depending on how you're looking at this so here he is in here and then you close this down around him well you do have a blue steering wheel which doesn't seem to ever be missing on any of the ones i've seen but i'm sure there are some missing out there but not missing on the ones that I've seen so okay so what does this thing do well it does a couple of things first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna remove the figure out of here and then we're gonna separate the two split seconds separation so kind of remove one side and then remove the other and it does feel a little bit scary doing it like that but that's just kind of how it has to be done so we're gonna take a look at this first and First off, we're going to take the spoiler, fold it down into wings, and then we're going to take this back piece, fold it around and make the floor or bottom of it, and then we're going to put the figure in there. Now, he can it looks like he doesn't go in that way, he goes in this way. And so, with that, usually in these, the, the drone or the clone, the drone clone or the digital render is the one that goes in there. Now, you can close this up, and you've got one in here flying, so... Uh, depending on how you want to set it up and which figure you want to put where. I do use a figure stand on this one, so uh, let's go into here and put him in there. Now, the second one converts by flipping this lever in the back, and it does this. Now, getting a better angle on it, this is always something that I thought was strange, because... Uh, I don't really understand what it was supposed to do, what angle you're supposed to have it, but it is ratcheted, as you can hear. So you can have it at this angle, this angle, or this angle. So it's got three ratchet levels, and then of course you collapse it down all the way. 
So, what do these things do? Well, not a whole lot. Now this one here, it rolls. And then there's a button over here, right here. And you can fire the missile. Boom. So that's what that one does. And then this one, it flies. And you have a friction-based missile where you just kind of push the pin and the missile flies out. So nothing really all that special, but there it is. Putting this all back together, we're gonna take him out of here. We're gonna just push this down. We're going to insert the missile back into here. We are going to insert this missile back into here, which is usually missing, by the way. And then unfold this. That tab holds really well. Let's, uh, hold on. Okay, so I untapped it off camera, but uh, I just wanted to make sure I didn't break anything that would really suck. And so then you're gonna have to go through kind of the reverse of everything and clip it back on. There's tabs here and then slots there, which it is kind of a weak point in my opinion for the vehicle. And it tabs back in. And then of course you can put your figures back in there and all that kind of stuff, however you wanna do it. And then you can display. So you can't fit both of them in the vehicle. At the same time, which is hence why I have this little display stand. I think somebody just gave me a display stand and they said, hey, this is for mask. And uh, I was like, okay, cool. It works. And well, there it goes. Let's move on to the next one. Next up, we have Detonator. And it's a VW Bug with Jaquezel Fleur, his clone, and the Mirage mask. It has two missiles with it. So with this, I have the figure already in here. And so let's have a look at this closer up on this here. Here is the clone and... Jaquez Lafleur, and it's a bug. It's a Volkswagen Beetle bug. It's got a chromed button up there. It has some chrome on the rims. This is how it looks from the bottom. Uh, pretty cool. You've got headlights and some paint up front, so kind of a cool paint job. Kind of a cool looking purple to it. So like the other one we just looked at was pink. This is actually purple. And so with all of that, let's see what it does. You want to pop this out first. And this is interesting because you slide it together and make a motorcycle. So it slides out to create the width of the tires that you need for the VW and then slides in to make a motorcycle, which you can put this guy on, of course, and he's riding his motorcycle. So that's kind of cool. I did this off camera because I wanted to be careful, but as you can see the contour of it, the knee can go down here. The foot is supposed to rest there. That's the way it looks to me. So with that, that's why I did it like that one off camera to be safe. Now we have this other piece over here that is going to push this button to pop open. Now it's like a little hovercraft that's going on right here. And of course this is the normal Jaquezel 4. That is the digital imprint or the hologram. So here he is, there's his face and his costume. It looks like he's kind of got like a like an owl on there, but he does have a little seatbelt going on in here. So uh, he doesn't have to get out of his vehicle. I think it does show the clone flies this and he rides that or something like that. But anyway, pretty cool looking. It says mask on the inside. And see, look at the wheel wells turn into these hovercraft uh, turbines in there. So that's pretty cool too. So then you've got all this nice little color scheme. It still matches the color scheme because you have the green in the front and the purple around there and all that kind of stuff. Now, what do you have with this? Well, you actually have missiles that fire both sides. So that's kind of cool. Now, it turns out that um, I picked this up because my buddy was into VWs and he had one. And then I was like, oh, well, hook me up with it. He's like, dude, I, I'm not getting rid of my one of my favorite items just because it's a VW. I love it. So I, had, I, I went out and bought me one right away because his was so cool. And now I'm glad I did back then before they got a little bit too expensive. So let's put this thing back together. So putting this thing back together, I'm going to take this guy off very carefully. And I think I put him on one leg at a time. And I'm going to separate this. So we can get the wheelbase in there and just right and all that kind of stuff. And then we are simply just gonna close this up and then we're going to put this into place. Now, looking at the bottom there, it's gotta slide into these grooves and fit into place like so. And then we're back to square one where we started, just like this. Next on the list is Dynamo. This is an off-road vehicle, an ATV four-wheeler kind of dune buggy looking thing. It looks more like a dune buggy. Bruce Soto and his clone or his digital 
render there. And it has the mask lifter. And he has a silver bomb, which was a pain to get. But let's get into looking at these figures right here. Here are their masks. And here are the figures. It just really does look like Bruce Soto. And this is, I think, the third version of Bruce Soto that's out there. And this one actually had some discoloration in the limbs, which is kind of strange. Most of my clear ones look pretty good. Not this guy. I'm not sure why. So, how do we separate this guy here? So, what everyone shows to do is to just pop it off there. But I feel like these little tabs here will break. So, I carefully push one of the tabs up and then separate it. Because I do feel like it could easily break. So once that's done, we're going to separate these and we're going to get these. This is actually one of the ones that has three modes. And so we're going to put it in here. I'm going to put the clone or the digital, I keep calling them digital render, but it's a hologram. And he's going to sit in there like it's a little car. So this here is not a car at all. What this here is, is a lift these up because these tabs hold the spring loaded thing in place here. And this is a helicopter. So we lift up the engine and we have the little helicopter that could if it'll snap into place there. So pretty cool, pretty interesting. And it flies around. Now it looks like we got like little guns right here, which those are the tabs that hold it in place double as maybe a gun. Maybe if you have the right imagination, you can have a gun there. So there it is. And then one more little thing here is it took a quite a, quite a bit of work to get his feet in there just right along with this cool yet annoying missile and so this is a vac metalized chrome missile and boom oddly enough when i did my retro wednesday video talking about the chromed parts i didn't chrome anything mask i think i have a handful of mask things that need to be chromed but i thought i thought this i thought i, I really thought i had one of these and thought it was gobots but i sure cannot find it so i had to buy in a whole other vehicle complete just to get it so that was annoying but Anyway, here's what they look like together. Let's put them back together because I think that's important to be able to do that. So we're going to slide this back down and we're going to clip this into this slot right here. Same thing over here. Clip into this slot. And of course, you probably want to do both at the same time. So they stay down. Then we're going to come over here and we're going to say, wait a second. There's a little tab that fits into this hole to hold it in place. Wait a second, why does this split into two pieces? So you clip them in place because there's like a spring on this lever in here and you now have hovering backpacks they can both fly around in. My buddy Wes showed me that. I didn't know it was a feature. And he's like, check this out. You can have hovering. That's why they have that in there. That spring-loaded mechanism doesn't do anything else other than hold the figure in place. And when I'm talking about the spring-loaded mechanism, it's this. This here holds them in place. So it's like you get two little hover chariots. You can actually bring someone else in like Matt Tracker and say, go to town. So anyway, getting back to putting this back together, we're going to fit these pieces into here and then close these up. And then we're going to put these back in one tab at a time. Be careful not to break or stress anything when you do that. And there we go. Starting to decide if uh, Fire Force, which is the next one here, is my favorite because it's kind of hard to decide which of these is your favorite when you like so many of them. But I'm going to show you, pull the figures out and show you, but it's kind of cool that you fit both the figures in this vehicle, which I think is the only vehicle I can think of uh, in this series that you can fit both figures in the driver and passenger seat. So this is good old Julio Lopez with his uh, clone hologram and the streamer mask now the streamer mask actually um, my paint is rubbed on this but i'm just so happy to have one it was expensive and hard to track down but i finally got one and so with this it does kind of have that kind of hat rim kind of thing going on just a lot like what we got with dusty Hayes in his afterburner so uh, looking at these this is a nice beautiful green clear transparent and he's got a different costume of course than anything else he has a cape which is molded in which is kind of cool so i guess they both have capes molded in and we all know that they just got an extra figure and just made it clear just you know to make it so much like you got a better deal out of it but let's let's put them in there and let's see what we can do with this vehicle so let's convert this guy or transform it however you want to look at it we pull this out now there's two tabs here that go into the engine and so once that's done you can lift this off to reveal 
like a chopper, but not a helicopter chopper, more of a motorcycle. Now, with this motorcycle, you have these tiny little handlebars, which are super fragile and super delicate. And so I was debating whether I even pull them out because I'll probably rip them because they're made of soft rubber that is probably already completely broken down. So I'm only going to go out that far with it because I have two others that don't have that on it. And so piecing together one complete one is how I did this. I pieced them together. This front rubber tire is usually missing too. So let's get this in here and put him in his motorcycle. And there it is. So pretty cool. He's riding around on his his three-wheeler motorcycle with this giant chromed engine, which looks amazing and it's pretty awesome. So this out the way, what does this thing do? Well, you fold it up and everything feels like it's gonna break on this. Then you put these tires down and you really do need to hold this piece as you fold it down. And see, you can already see the tires are breaking down too. So uh, the rubber, it's hard, but hey, they're holding in place. So then with that, You've got this whole setup going on right there. You can fly around with your plane and then you have a bomb in there. So you've got the bomb and you can drop bombs like so. So pretty cool. It is friction based. You're just pushing the bomb out. So that, I mean, that, that's interesting the way they do that. Let's see about resetting this in here. Okay, so you put it back in sort of with the upside down like that. So pretty interesting right there, like so. And let's get a kind of group shot of this. So I'm gonna have to back it out for the bigger vehicles because there's much bigger vehicles than this. So looking at this though, kind of fun, kind of cool. I think this might be my favorite. It's just so interesting and so cool. I like Fieros. I do like Fieros. So let's pull this guy out of here. Gently, very gently fold these uh, back down. Ugh, terrible, terrible, terrible. Then you're gonna fold this down. And this is where they break because it bends right there. I might have to find a better way to store it. So anyhow, uh, one more feature before I put this back together is that you do have another bomb and you push right here on this center piece to shoot it off. So yeah, let's reset that too. This thing is hard to get to the bumper. <laughs> it's the front bumper. And it's strange how the rear of the motorcycle is the front of this. So let's put this back together. And it fits in like so. And then you're going to slide this like that. Those tabs break pretty easy. Then we're going to put these wheels back down. Oh. No, don't go the wrong way. Back up. Back up. Fold this down. We're going to put this guy in here, reset it all, and take a look at the next one. So the next thing we're going to look at is the Skybolt. Skybolt is a fighter jet with Matt Tracker and his clone hologram with Spectrum mask. And he has two missiles, one in the front, one in the back. We're going to take a look at both of those. So let's go ahead and open the cockpit and pull him out of here now before we get into this i do want to point out my buddy trey is the one who hooked me up with this i was trying to piece together one and i had bought like several lots and i was like 150 bucks in and didn't have a complete one yet he found a complete one for me for 100 bucks and passed it along to me so you know one thing i want to point out is collecting you don't collect in a vacuum you're a part of a community and community helps each other out to get things done so with that looking at this here is Matt Tracker, and it just looks like the same exact Matt Tracker head that was on the original Matt Tracker. And I think sometimes the color of the paint's a little bit different with these. The mask is, of course, something different that we've never seen before, so it's kind of cool. Uh, it's not like a reuse, but a lot of these have these double, um, I don't know what you'd call these dangly things, that uh, maybe they're supposed to be hoses that plug in and that kind of stuff. But you see that in a lot of these figures. So with this, let's take a look at what this vehicle does. Uh, we're going to put, I'm uh, just going to put the Matt Tracker in here and we're going to have the clone pilot the rest or do whatever else. So what does this thing do? So first off, you need to separate it by pushing this button and that separates it. And then really this doesn't do a whole lot. This is where the gimmicks really happen. 
So you push this and that flips around. So you've got a vehicle and then you can bring these wheels around. You've got another vehicle, like a land vehicle there. You got, it rolls like a champ. And then you can put your little clone guy in here and make that happen. Really good. So there it is. And then this is the scariest part about this. So I don't really want to do too much, but you can lift the wings up and those wings down. And I have seen these break. So uh, this one's not wanting to go. And the thing is, is that it does have like a tab in there to give resistance. That resistance, if you just are crazy with it, you are going to break it. So there he is. Now let's look at the two firing missiles. You got one right here. And that's this missile right there. And then you have another firing missile right here. And it's boom. So pretty cool, pretty interesting. Kids can have a lot of fun with this. I actually passed on the first uh, few times in 2012 when I saw these and I didn't want them. And then I was like, well, you know, eventually I'll probably want it. So let me just try to pick one up. And then all of a sudden, like overnight, they got real hard to find. So my buddy Trey had to help me. So uh, putting this all back together, we're going to have to remove this clone, which I don't know if you could probably shove the clone in there deeper or something. Maybe oh, I lost the missile. Maybe you can shove them in there deeper or something. So when, when you do this kind of stuff and you reset these, I like to push the button and then, then reset it. So I like to do that. I don't know if that's a necessary uh, evil to do. And then we have this here. Gosh, that feels tight. Maybe tight is good, but on 40 year old plastic, I don't know, 35 year old. And then we're gonna slide this into here. And then again, like I like to push this button down until it's in place. We got it reset and put the missile back into place and there we go. This was Skybolt, which is kind of a cool vehicle, one I never knew existed. Next up is Stiletto. Stiletto on. Uh, well, not exactly. This isn't Max or Rex. Or, okay, so looking at this, this is Gloria Baker's only vehicle that she got. And it is, of course, a Lamborghini Countach. And it comes with her transparent clone and all of that. Let's go ahead and pull her out of here and have a look at her. So it is kind of cool that it's real easy to get her in and out. And you got to be very careful with that piece of plastic on that windshield. And so this is our first time to get a Gloria Baker in the toy line. And I think our last. So uh, it does have a collider mask and it does have two missiles, uh, two bombs and a, and a rear missile. So we're going to get into all of that. But uh, let's look at this figure. She doesn't look like anything I saw her wear in the show. She's a little different looking in my opinion, but... Uh, Here's her mask. So I, I think that is her mask that she uses though. So pretty cool. The one problem with the female mask is they always have a slender neck, which you cannot accomplish with this. So the animator should not have done that at all. But anyway, there's the clone. And here is the vehicle. Now, what do you do with this vehicle? So what you do with this vehicle, of course, we're gonna open this up and put her back in here. This is actually on a bit of a hinge so you can have some play with it and that, and it's a split second vehicle. You're going to split it. So let's split this. Now you want to carefully split this and uh, get it split apart in the front and the back at the same time, which it's fiddly at best, a pain in the butt at worst. But again, you want to be very gentle with it because it is very old and it's a bit hard to track down these days. So we split it into these two pieces. The first thing I want to do is show you how to put together the top airplane. Now, I think this was put on on the wrong spot. This uh, where it says mask shouldn't have been there. You can put the figure in here. And I don't know if you have to put her backwards or if you can put her just like this. But then if you notice, there's this cavity. The cavity exists to cover up this engine that protrudes, but it also exists to hold this figure. So let's slide her in. And because um, I knew every one of these, when they split into two, have a way to hold the other figure. And I do think that the top piece should have had this sticker and then the bottom one should have had where it says mask on it. So I might just heat those up and swap them. But uh, you can't just say, well, I want this one to be the top. One's the top, one's the bottom. So there's that. Now, what do we do with this over here? Well, you do two things. First off, you gently fold these over, which not really that bad. And then you push this to, huh, okay, come on, pop up. 
and that's stuck a little bit. Let's see if I can do that without it sticking. There we go. Because it usually doesn't stick, so unless you have a camera rolling. Now, you got a helicopter, you got a jet plane with a clone in there flying it. This is what they look like on the bottom. Now, this one here, you have friction missiles. So you just, they just drop out. I, I'm not a fan of friction missiles, but I can see that, hey, we want to hit a price point. We don't want to spring. And nowadays, I'm thinking, yes, I'm so glad there's not one more mechanism I have to try to get to work. So that's cool. So speaking of another mechanism to get to work, I think this is adjustable. This one here, it appears to be a bit adjustable. I don't know if it's just mine has more play than other people's, but it feels adjustable. And it looks to me like you should be able to adjust it even higher than that. But I'm not going to press the issue, and I am going to fire it. So it fires. Fire, fire. You know the 80s are dangerous, and danger is fun. Okay, so now we have to adjust it back down all of the way. And I don't know if when we adjust this to push this back down, if that's... Yes, look, see? That goes down with it. That goes down with it. So. Anyway, let's convert it back. Flip the wheels up. Flip the wheels up. Put this... Well, we got to separate this. And this is going to fall out. And then... Put that back on there. Line everything up. You have these two little... Well, actually relatively large pins in the back. Let's look at it from the back. And they're going to connect into here. I'm thinking I don't have those in right, but it's not that big of a deal. Now it's back to a Lamborghini Countach. Lots of fun, let's look at the next one. So this is the Barracuda or Jackal. Barracuda or Jackal. This is a jet cycle. It's got Bruno Shepard and his clone, which I keep his clone on my spare motorcycle there because I was trying to collect this and uh, my tell my buddy to look for parts for me and he said you better just buy a complete one because you're not gonna find the parts separate uh, cheaper and he was right and so I'm glad I followed his advice there so I'm gonna pull the clone off this spare and I love having it because I display the clone on one cycle and then him on the other cycle which works out and in 2012 I think I paid 50 bucks for this guy so that was pretty cool so looking at it, it is a cool looking motorcycle overall and let's look at the Bruno Shepard, the clone, then the cycle, and then all of the parts. So he has this weird looking bullet for a mask. It's what it looks like, it's a bullet. And uh, here's some back. Now it does kind of look like he's in a bit of a, like a biker gear himself. So he's in biker gear. His leg is super loose. That is kind of scary for me. It's not falling off, but it's loose. So that scares me. And uh, there's his head. And he looks just like he does with his stinger. The, the figure with the stinger it looks like the same head sculpt and all that kind of stuff. Kenner likes to reuse as much as they can. I'm surprised they didn't reuse more in this line because we've got a lot of new sculpts. Well, they reused them all for these clones. So let's see what this thing does. So first of all, you want to pull this and it turns into like an airplane. And then you do convert this. Now, I want to point out that this will, when you close it up, will close on to this little groove. There's like a groove for this and then the gun folds out. So really kind of a cool thought process. This also has handlebars right here and you have two bombs right there. We're going to uh, put the uh, clone as so what I think goes on this. So I don't know what's up with the hip joints on these guys. Uh, both of them feel really sensitive and all I've done is sit on the shelf for a decade. <laughs> so now this bottom one, it folds down and we have a motorcycle for him to ride and we're just going to let them sit flat like so and move the hips as little as possible. So there he is. There they are. That's what it does. So this here rolls and all that kind of stuff, but it doesn't do anything else other than just look like a, a motorcycle. This here, on the other hand, flies, which is kind of cool and it's kind of fun. And uh, there it is from the bottom. Then missiles, friction-based missiles, which are kind of hard to find. And so I don't have them. I, my second one is not complete because I don't have these missiles and I don't think I have uh, another set of figures for it. So uh, with that, one of those things I would advise trying to catch this guy complete because piecing them together is almost impossible. So let's put it back together and we're going to fold this down and make sure that it's the right angle. And then we're gonna fold this these pieces here up, those pieces up onto there, which is kind of form the engine. And then we're going to put this all together. Now it's kind of a fumbly mess 
trying to do it. But you just fumble with it all at once until it all fits just right. It's kind of a little pain. And then once, once it fits just right, then, then it works. There it goes. There, oh, it's almost there. There it is. And reset it back. But again, this is something I don't want to break because they are getting harder and harder to find. So next up we have the infamous wolf beast, which this one might actually be uh, on par in rarity or ability to acquire complete uh, as the laser command because I do not have the helmets for this. I will not pay the money people are asking and this is a KO of a helmet. So uh, a little sad right there. Um, but with a KO helmet on there, it's hard to get on and off. So I'm just going to show you a spare figure I have. Uh, right here now I did buy several of these to complete one and that's how I did it over the course of a decade and It's still not complete cause don't have his mask or technically his mask. So anyway, Wolf Beast is a Corvette Stingray with Miles Mayhem and his clone and It's Viper is the helmet and the head sculpt. Yeah, the head sculpt is different than uh, Let's see here. It's one thing I wanted to point out it's the same head sculpt, but the paint's different on Miles Mayhem. So uh, I think this is the third version of Miles Mayhem also because he had that uh, race car. All right, so here we are with the vehicle, which does look pretty cool. And it rolls really well and all that. It also bumps very easily, so that's not good. So anyway, looking at it as a Corvette Stingray all the way around, there is a sticker on the back there. And the exhaust like to fall. And so like I feel like I've recently just picked up the exhaust and the missiles, but I think I've had them for months now. But it's still like, wow, I've never seen these and this feels weird that it falls like that. It doesn't really hold into place at all. So that's kind of a downside. I, maybe it's just they're worn and I'm, you know, I'm getting some really worn used stuff here. So that might be it. Now, let's do this conversion. You push this down as you saw it accidentally did before. These pieces pop out and it seems like, uh, I don't know, very fragile tabs holding everything in place. Then you have these pieces that fold out too. And then you have this button here. Well, it's gonna be upside down. This button here will flip it. And it's on a spring. And then we have this. And it shows Miles Mayhem in there. And so let's get him in there. And of course, he's gonna be like flying around at an angle, I guess. So that's how that's supposed to work. Okay, now for this bottom part, what you're gonna do a couple of things. First of all, you're going to flip it over and you're going to slide these wheels uh, out. And what it does is it puts you some down a little bit so it should help it roll an upside down roll, which is kind of cool. Then lift these pieces up and then we have a control panel that's gonna open up here. And then you're gonna put the clone in. Now, this is a rubbery material, but well, I don't know if you say rubbery, it feels flexible plastic, it's scary. And uh, I actually had to swap one out, I had one broken. So uh, this is one of those pieced together vehicles that's still not 100% pieced together, but uh, I'm not spending stupid money getting a complete one. So uh, get the feet in there. And then here's the clone driving it. You can't really say piloting it. And now these pivot so you can put it on there like so and then hold that in place. And then uh, you just a little loose. So here it is in the total converted and so split seconds, two different vehicles. I think it's still cool and interesting that it does what it does. But at the end of the day, it's still a little bit very scary on all of this. Now, you got missiles that fire right here. Ow. Ow. And then you reload them. And I think you can only put it in one way. Uh, or maybe not. Maybe you can put it in either way. And then also with this, you have a missile that fires over here. So this missile fires, I think with this, this piece here. Yeah fires that missile. One cool thing about this is that uh, the missile on one side is a gas tank and on the other side is the venom face. So let's go ahead and convert this thing back. You saw everything it can do. We're going to flip this around, lock it into place, fold these pieces in on themselves, and then it gets tricky. These 
you push them in to hold in place, but one of them doesn't want to stay. Oh, there it did. Wow, first time something's easier on camera. That's awesome. Another thing you can do, and this is what I like to do, is you can store a figure in here. Uh, so you can at least say, I, I got a figure in there. And so get them in there nice and chilling like that. So now we got to get over here. We got to carefully remove the clone from this. His feet are in there best way to get him in and out is to push down on this and then that would kind of release him now we're going to put everything back into place now these don't lock in I don't see a place a tab or anything for them to lock in or tab or anything so it's purely friction based then you push up on these wheels to make them lower so that you can actually roll it in the other other one okay the other mode and then we're going to put it back together now putting it back together Lay the back on first and then put the top on and then you've got wolf beast back to its beastly All right, take three back to its beastly mode right here That was wolf beast So next up we have vandal. This is a front loader with Floyd Malloy AKA what Billy Idol did in his spare time He's wearing the buckshot mask mask so that you could hear the rebel roar so look at these figures it's a whole different costume whole different outfit but same head sculpt as we saw with the previous one of Floyd Malloy and the clear purple looks kind of cool another figure that appears to have a bit of discoloration to him so uh, disappointing that the clear one has a discoloration so two of mine have what I think is significant discoloration but let's get into looking at this so this is the front loader it is actually a pretty cool little vehicle that let me see if it's compressed on the way. Like some of these cheaper ones, it is a little bit fiddly. I think the cheaper price point ones are a bit fiddly. So with this, it's kind of cool. You have translucent part up there and we have stickers all over this, which look kind of great. Interesting, you see the engine in the back. And so they're gonna go over there and they're going to use the, uh, the front loader and they're gonna be you know, bulldozing some stuff. I always call this a bulldozer kind of stuff, but Let's see the action that can be had with this. First off, you're going to lift this up and slide the back piece off. It slides on and off and it's not smooth. Obviously you're rubbing this back metalized stuff here, which is not good at all in the slightest. So then you're going to pull this forward. Now let's go ahead and get a figure in here and we probably need it somewhere in the middle range to fit the figure in. And let's go ahead and put the normal Floyd Malloy and not the clone in there. There we go. Now we can pull this and we have a bit of a little bit of a roadster. We can bring that up so he has that going on. So there's one. It's kind of cool. We're going to take a closer look at that here in a second. Then we have this here, which is kind of confusing to me. So you're going to flip this around. And then this is going to turn into a, how does this fold up? It's really stiff and tight, but this is going to turn into like wings on the back, like kind of spoiler. You expose where it says mask, then you can uh, fold these pieces down and around. Uh, it's so delicate and I'm looking at it through the camera, not straight on so i don't want to mess anything up now this one isn't super expensive but it's still like i don't want to break anything so uh probably one of the cheaper in the split second series so you get a little seat with a little uh what <laughs> i want to call it a handlebar but it's more like what you you get if you're you're on the ride at a, on a roller coaster you get this little bar that kind of goes up same thing as up there on the other one so uh, let me get them in place here for time's sake, I just kind of fiddled around with this bar till it clipped him in place so that he doesn't fall out as easy. He might still fall out, but now we have a jet and we have like a, kind of like a little four wheeled car. So kind of cool in a way, uh, the split second, this is one of the weaker of the split second series, but still it is pretty interesting. So we have a few things here, two uh, quad front guns and the wheels roll just fine. They are made of rubber that are hardening, hardening rubber right there from the side that's how it looks it looks pretty good the figure fits in there just fine um i'd almost want to say this is like a go-kart in a way with a massive engine on the back you can go thousand miles an hour who knows 
uh, I like the chrome on it, but it's kind of kind of sucks that you just kind of pop the wheel on. You can still see the orange, orangish yellowish through there, and you can see the transparent piece. So what does this do? This shoots a missile, and I had the I had a Mirage missile. At first, I thought it went to this, the the Silverhawks Mirage, and it didn't go to this. Then I thought it went to the Billboard Blast, and then I said I don't know what it goes to, but I'm not getting rid of it. I'm just keeping it. And eventually, I got a Mirage, and I was like, cool. But it does look like the Mirage missile. This one here flies around, does has little front guns, stickers, stickers, and this sticker's always in the wrong spot. Everyone has to swap it. Uh, kids put it in the wrong spot. I mean, come on, kids. Be more responsible with your toys, right? And then you have this missile, which is a friction-based missile. I just don't want it to fly off. But you can get a little bit of speed with it. But it does match their the, the vampire missile. It's like they KO undersized the vampire missile to go with this. And it's the same driver and the same missile, but just smaller. It's really weird. It always confused me. All right, so putting this thing back the way it should go. Uh, we're going to disconnect this figure from this whole assembly. We're going to fold the assembly up right there. We're going to flip the wings back around. I guess we're going, they only go one way forward and one way back. Or, mine are just super tight, and I like that they're tight, but I'm scared I'm going to break it. Okay, then we flip this whole assembly over, way over, like this. We restore this front piece to become the bulldozer again. And this is tight, too, so it's like, it feels like a point of stress. Boy, it's just stressing me out. Peanuts are making me thirsty. Okay, now we've got that ready to go clipped on, and then we're going to convert this back and as you might have seen in the intro i actually store these i didn't have it set up i had them stored the way i store them oh let me put this missile back before i lose it because that would be extremely detrimental but yeah i'll show you how i store them too so we're going to clip this back on over the engine like so and make sure it's up all the way and then fold this down and we're back into this mode. And then what I usually do is just stick the other figure in here like so, which I mean, that's not really professional, but it doesn't display all that well, but I'm not gonna lose them. And I know I got them, so there it is. And that is the last one, Vandal. They also made the ramp up and Thunderball and those were prototypes. They never really made it to production. I think a few of them float around that actually like the prototypes float around and some people made their own versions of them but those two are still hard to get hopefully ramen toy makes it ramen toy is making the shark gloria baker they are making their own version of thunderhawk so here's to ramen toy being successful with this line so i sure hope you enjoyed this look at the kenner masks 1987-1988 split second series series four and this is a really cool toy line I didn't know about any of these growing up, so that's what got me excited about them as a doll. I think it's more fun experiencing something you never even knew than rehashing what you had. There's so much you can do with series one and two and the parts of three that I had, but when it comes to this, I had none of these. It was all a surprise. It was all brand new, and for that, it was a little bit of fun. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Tadirum Hanger out.